Hi everyone, I thought I'd show you what we found last night when we went dumpster diving um, because I know it was pretty quick and you couldn't really see what we found. So yes, all the drinks and the food that we found was donated to the homeless shelter. So obviously I haven't got that here to show you, but I will show you the rest of the items. Um, a lot of this came out the thrift store dumpster, or as we say in here, the charity shop in England. That's what we say here in England. And the first thing I want to show you though, are these curtains. Um, do you remember that I got in our Claire's haul, I found these curtains. Well, I've actually put them up and they are such good quality they're lined they actually go right down to the floor they're actually a bit long but um they'll do they're tab tops it's curtain rings tops and yeah they're very nice so that was that um this was all from the charity shop we don't take stuff from the front of the charity shop it's all stuff that the charity shop has chucked out so there was this nike um football boot bag we found all these cushions. These are going to be going to the homeless shelter. All these designer scatter cushions. That one. There was green ones. Two of those green ones. Um, and a turquoise one. We found this big. Um, it's like. A big rucksack hold all thing. So that will be going to the homeless shelter. It's like a big kit bag style thing. Um, I'm actually keeping these myself because I do like colouring. The tricolour pens. There are a couple missing, but that doesn't bother me. Um, another thing from the thrift store was this Argan Oil Shampoo. Now this is completely full up. So that would go into the homeless shelter. And there's this little bag. And it's got lots of little bits in it. There's this, um, the body shop, carrots, moisture cream. Body Shop Hemp Soap. Oh, I don't think these are Body Shop. They're like, you know, the travel things you get when you go away. Um, this. And a few other bits. So that probably go to the homeless shelter because I won't use it. So that's that. And um, there's a pair of kids pyjama bottoms brand new I assume it's because there was no top that's why they chuck them out that goes to the homeless shelter um, there was also you saw me get these out these Marks and Spencers school t-shirts now why would the charity shop chuck them out brand new in the packaging four to five years uh, we found this Convoy, convoy, converse light. Yes, it is actually a light, and it changes colour, and it's rather cool. You can't really see. If I put it over in the dark, it goes green to blue, to red, green to blue to red. So, yes, yeah, actually, nothing wrong with that. Again, at the thrift shop dumpster. So that was that bag. Um, let me move these out the way. Um, now you probably saw me. Oh no, there was another cushion. There was this cushion, which I'm going to keep because I quite like this for my camper van. It's a lot of rainbow colours, tie dye. It's that one. Um, this heart shape it has actually got something missing from here there's two nails sticking up but i should just nail something else on there 
um, there was this bow that you saw me pick out. Brand new with its tag on it. Christmas fishies. Um, this photo frame, which is actually very glittery. Um, the only thing wrong with this, it has got the corner is chipped there. But other than that, it's fine. You could always stick something on there, so I wouldn't really notice. Uh, next thing, I've got, this is actually the second one I've got of these. It's a picture frame, but it has a bulldog clip on here, so I presume you put your own picture on there. So that's actually broken, but I can just put another one on there. And the corner has got bent over, but I can look, stick that back down, you won't even notice. So that's that. Um, found this. Oh, it's actually, it came with a toilet brush in it, brand new, not from the fridge or from a shop, um, but it can't actually be used as a toilet roll, toilet brush holder because it has actually got a crack down it, you can't actually see it, um, I'm trying to turn it around so you can see, I can't even find the crack, <laughs> um, don't even know where the crack is, but I'm going to use it as a pen pot. I thought it's rather not, and I like anything sparkly. So that was that. That's why I'm sitting on the floor. The next thing was um, this little plaque to have and to hold from this day forward. It's just a hanging heart. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. Yes, I've still got my cold. Um, you saw Dan get these out of that broken light. They are actually, you know, them little tiny weeny lights and they do work. I have tried them. So I usually put these in a glass vase or whatever just for de decoration. <coughs> um, excuse me, now I've got a cough. <coughs> and um, you saw Dan get out loads of those. Um, I kept two back for hubby because he absolutely loves a Turkish delight, but I can't stand it. So, and all the rest of them went to the homeless shelter. And there was this tray, which is like a marble effect. We did have two trays, and I thought this one was okay. The other one was really broken, but it's not. It is actually cracked there. So. I don't know, I might try and stick it because it won't really show when you stick it. So that's that. And um, these two plants. I know this pot is absolutely smashed on these. But what I do is I just take it out because there were two. So as you can see with this one, I stick in polystyrene. So I just put them either in a new pot or plant them in the garden. Best plants ever. Don't need any watering. <laughs> so that's a good tip. Um, the other thing. You saw me get this out as well. It is a. I think it's like a tea light candle holder. I'm going to stand it on its side. It's got a lovely leather strap. And things for the candle in. But this side is broken, but it is actually still here. So that will stick perfectly in there and you won't even notice. So yeah, that's that. So that's very nice. Um, and then we got this beauty. Now we always find lots of lanterns. But this one is particularly nice. It's actually metal. And the only thing wrong with it is this glass has got pushed in. So I'm just going to open it up and push it back out. It's still got its tag on. So yeah, I might end up keeping that because it's got a lovely filigree detailing on there. See, so yeah, that's 
rather nice. Um, sorry, I'm kneeling on the floor, it's hurting my knees. Um, next large one we found was this laundry basket. Um, I think it has got bleach mark on there. And one on the top. But the major thing is it's got one of these handles missing. See, just like the rope handle. This side's actually missing, but that's easily men's ball. It's got the lid. So, yeah. And you saw me absolutely squeal with delight when I find this. I'm going to get up because you can see me sounding. Um, the mirror. Do you remember when I found this? Um, it's quite big because you can see it up against the lantern. Look. And it's got this nice detailing. It needs painting, but it's just the corner has come unscrewed. The mirror is perfect. So, yeah, that would be mended. We found... Um, you saw us pick out this snail world. Kids snail world set up. It's like a little tank and I suppose they have pet snails. So that's brand new. It's still sealed inside. Found this CD. Brand new. Again, this was at the charity shop. All three CDs are in there. Not even been used. It's not got one scratch on it. So I have been have that. Um, then the other thing we found was loads of these baskets. Now these were all from the charity shop. They were originally from Ikea. I'm going to show you what you do. You fold them out like so. Sorry, I'm filming this and it's probably not coming out very well. I'm not sure, this just sits. In the bottom like so and then it actually makes like this crate which are rather large so we found four of those white ones and then we found I think it was two grey ones nothing wrong with them see I might keep them for my my office come craft room show you those um we found, also found not the tea lights then when i just bought this this lovely it's um is it called like a roman blonde and i can't it's so big i can't get it out but it's actually a roman blonde so if you can imagine it going horizontal wise and it's like um organza material and this is velvet it's got all these lovely rhinestones along the bottom edge so when it is up and it's hanging these will all hang now it's rather big as you can see it's in a black bin liner um, yeah and again that was at the charity shop bin I might add out their rubbish bin, not in stuff people don't. Well, people have donated these items and they've actually thrown them away, which I can't understand why, because <coughs> they're perfectly resellable. Um, the other thing, so oh, these are the bases to the other crates. Also found this puzzle they're all in there all complete now why would the charity shop throw these out but one two three four all complete I don't know looks like new to me probably not even played with um, there was this one where you put the animals in and that, it's all there 
through make sure it's all there that one goes there the duck goes there and the goat goes there so yeah again complete from the charity shop in the bin another one cat goes there the dog tall choice and the chick again is complete and there's also this this wooden toy now i love wooden toys it's like a seesaw and again all the bits are there so what so please beware people when you donate things to your local thrift store chances are most of it's going to end up in the rubbish <laughs> which i think is really bad so yeah that was our haul that you saw us get out and um say so we was in such a rush because it was so cold i thought i would show you what we got <clears throat> So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already subscribed, if you could please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and a comment as I'll always comment back. And follow us on our social media on Instagram at Super Save Debs. On Facebook at Super Save Debs. And Twitter at Super Save Debs. Okay, thank you. Bye.